The len function calculates the number of characters in a text string or in a number. For example, here in column A are some words and numbers. To calculate the number of characters, we left click on cell B2, then type in an equal sign. Next, type in the letters L, E, and a drop down box will appear. From here, left double click on len. Now, left click on the cell you want the number of characters of, cell A2. Then type in a close parenthesis to close off the function. And then we hit the enter key and we have our answer of 5. Now, in cell A3 is the same name, Karen, but there is a space after it. I'll use the fill handle and drag down one cell and we get an answer of 6, as the space is counted as a character. Next, we have the number 22.33. I'll drag down and we get 5, as the decimal is considered a character. For the next cell, we also get 5 characters, as the len function ignores cell formatting. Now in the next cell, A6, we have a date, and the len function returns 5 as a value. This is because, behind the scenes, Excel uses numbers for dates. To show this, I have two dates, one day apart, listed here. I'll format the cells to numbers. And you see these numbers are one after the other. Next, we have a negative decimal number. I'll drag down and we get six. The len function does include the negative sign for a number. And next, we have a city. And for this, the len function does include the comma as well as the space. Next is $1 million and it returns seven as the dollar sign, decimal, and two zeros after the decimal are not included. And now we have $1,000,054, and this time, the decimal and the digits after the decimal are included, but not the commas. And finally, we have a sentence, and we get a value of 17, as the spaces between the words are included. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.